Hello world. Today's video is a quick tutorial on dynamic EQ side chaining. So basically what dynamic EQing is, is EQing part of your mix based on the dynamics of any other sound inside of your mix. The way we'll be accomplishing this today is by using a fruity peak controller inside of FL Studio and linking that to an EQ so that every time our high vocals come in, it takes some of the high mids away from our main vocal bus. And that's just one example of what you can do with dynamic EQing. You can also use a dynamic EQ to pull away the bass sounds every time your kick hits, similar to a typical side chain, but a little more EQ focused and actually focusing on the frequencies themselves. And you can also dynamically side chain pretty much any other plugin in FL Studio. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well. But first, let me give you a quick example of what the dynamic EQ does with these vocals inside of this mix. I'm still here all along, but I will make it on my own. I know you think I've grown, but this apartment's not a home. I miss my family, but something's stopping me. I should call, but I can't handle these things properly. I wonder if they're thinking of me honestly. Most of my friends still haven't visited the property. So to set up a dynamic EQ, you're going to want to put a fruity peak controller on whatever track you want the sending signal to come from. And in this example, I put it on my high vocal track so that every time the high vocals hit, it pulled away from the high mid section of the main vocal bus. Then you want to head over to the paramatic EQ on whatever that you're side chaining from. And in this example, it's the vocal bus Say you want to dynamically EQ band number five, which is the one that I chose to EQ in this song, which is the high mid section. What you would want to do is right click and click link to controller and then select inside of the internal controller section peak control and just peak there is other effects that you can use the lfo for either with the peak or on its own but we're going to use peak for this current example you don't need to do anything with the mapping or smoothing and you can just hit accept and leave it as it is now for the control inside of peak controller the base is going to be where it starts the frequency out at for me, I want it to be in the center right there. The decay is going to control how long it hits for, and I have my decay pretty high, so it hits for basically the entire period that the high vocals do. And then the volume is how hard it hits, and you won't really be able to tell that until it plays. So I'll show you an example of the volume moving. I'm still here all alone, but I will make it on my own. I know you. So basically the farther down you pull the volume, the farther down it goes on the EQ and the higher up you place the volume, the higher up it goes on the EQ. If you're trying to make it, if you're trying to make it add more high mid frequency every single time that the vocals hit. And to finish things off, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you could add it to other plugins so you could dynamically control them. Like say something like a delay, you right click on the knob here on the side of the delay that controls the wetness of the mix. And then you click link to controller just like we did before and then choose the peak controller and this is basically going to control the level of delay on the mix the base is going to be where the delay knob itself sits volume is going to be how much it increases the delay and the decay is going to be how long that effect lasts and i'll give you a quick example of that delay being added it's not going to sound that great because this track wasn't designed to have delay playing all the time but how dramatic it is will kind of give you a really good example of the delay coming in and out I'm still here all alone, but I will make it on my own. I know you think I've grown, but this apartment's not a home. I miss my family, but something's stopping me. This is something you can use as well on basically any plugin with the wetness knob or any plugin that allows any kind of automation or linking to controllers. And it gives you a wide variety of options to dynamically sidechain different things inside of your mix. If you like the preset on my vocals and you want access to that custom preset, there'll be a video linked in the description on how to use that preset and where to cop it. It's a custom preset and you guys are more than welcome to use it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped you and peace out.